News Canada, information for life. Opportunity knocked, and as luck would have it, the apple got all the headlines from the beginning of time. The pear was always there, but was far more refined. And it's this understated elegance that gives the pear its distinctive personality. Serving pears today carries a special cachet, so it's really worth knowing more about them. Eat your pears fresh or slice them and dice them in salads. Pears can be poached, baked, grilled or roasted, but my favorite taste treat is to pair just the right cheese with just the right pear. I'm going to show you all the best combinations, but first let's look at our pear choices. Lucky for us, given our long winters, pears are shipped to the supermarket from Washington and Oregon all year long. There's multiple varieties, each one with their own distinctive flavor. However, every single one of them is a nutritional superstar. Pears contain vitamin C, potassium, and are very high in fiber. One medium pear contains six grams of fiber, which it makes it one of the highest fiber fruits grown in North America. We need about 25 to 30 grams of fiber per day in order to keep our digestive systems functioning properly. A pear acts like a toothbrush on the inside of our body, so just think about it. This is a delicious way to prevent heart disease, cancer, and type 2 diabetes. I'm going to show you how to tell when a pear is ripe, but first, let's get to know them a little bit better. I'm going to show you how to pair just the right cheese with just the right pear. I have five autumn varieties here today. This is a red Anjou. It has dark red skin, sweet and mellow flavor with abundant juice, which makes it perfect in any fruit or vegetable salad. But my favorite is to have a red Anjou with a tasty blue cheese. The green Anjou, a sister to the red Anjou, is egg-shaped and because it is so sweet and juicy, it is perfect to eat fresh or in any fruit or vegetable salad. However, there is nothing like having a green Anjou with a mild goat's cheese or a soft brie. Early season red pears have bright red skin when fully ripe. This is a star crimson. See how wonderful it looks in an appetizer or a fresh fruit dessert? It is also heavenly with brie or Stilton cheese. The boss pear is a brown shade with a long tapering neck. It has a crisp, firm flesh and because it holds its shape so well, it is ideal for baking, poaching, grilling or broiling. It's dense, has a spicy tasting flesh and is just perfect, mouth-watering with an aged white cheddar or a Parmesan Reggiano cheese. The comice is a chubby shape with a short stem and a short neck and because it is so sweet and juicy it is ideal for a snack. If you pair a comice with a Roquefort or Stilton cheese I guarantee your Roquefort or Stilton will never have to be alone again. Since most pears don't dramatically change color as they ripen with the exception of the green Bartlett, which as you can see has turned a beautiful yellow shade, I'm going to give you three tips so you will have perfectly ripened pears every time you bite into one. The first tip is always buy hard pears at the grocery store. The second tip is the thumb test. Simply take the pear, put your thumb at the neck of the pear, which is just below the stem. Apply a little bit of pressure, and if it gives a little bit or it's soft, it's perfectly ripe. I think this one is ripe. The third tip is using my handy pear slicer. See how difficult it is to get the pear slicer through an unripe pear? But watch this. See how this pear slicer just glides through a perfectly ripened pear. Store unripe pears on the counter in a beautiful fruit bowl or basket. If pears are already ripe, use a pear packer to prohibit bruising. You can store them in the refrigerator to slow further ripening. Now I can't wait to have a little taste of them all. Pears have always been the first choice in my book.
More information is available online at www.usapairs.com. Information for Life.